seven. Subtopic 4.4, Reactions of Organic Compounds. Learning Outcomes. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to A. Explain covalent bond cleavage, homolytic cleavage, and heterolytic cleavage. B. Differentiate homolytic cleavage and heterolytic cleavage. C. State the relative stabilities of primary, secondary, and tertiary free radicals, carbocations, and carbaions. Next learning outcomes E. Define number one, electrophile and nucleophile. Number two, Lewis acid and Lewis base. Learning outcome F. State the main types of organic reaction. Number one, addition reaction, which are nucleophilic addition and electrophilic addition. Number two, substitution reaction, which are free radical substitution, nucleophilic substitution and electrophilic substitution. Number three, elimination and number four, rearrangement. Types of covalent bond cleavage or friction. All chemical reactions involve bond breaking and bond making. There are two types of covalent bond cleavage. Number one, homolytic cleavage and number two, heterolytic cleavage. Homolytic cleavage. It is occurred in a non-polar bond involving two atoms of similar electron negativity. A non-polar bond breaks symmetrically into two equal parts, leaving each atom with one unpaired electron. Free radicals are formed as a product in homolytic cleavage. Homolytic cleavage. Atom A and B have the same or similar electron negativity. A non-polar bond is break symmetrically under the condition UV to produce products which are called free radicals. Free radicals atom A and atom B each has one unpaired electron. A single head error here is to show bond break symmetry, which is homolytic cleavage. Another example, number one, for, for chlorine molecule, a single bond between chlorine atom is break symmetrically under the condition UV to produce free radicals, which are each chlorine atom has one unpaired electron. Number two, a single bond breaks symmetrically between carbon and carbon atom under the condition UV to produce product free radical and each carbon atom with one unpaired electron. Number three, a single bond is break symmetrically between carbon and hydrogen atom under the condition UV to produce free radical CH3 with one unpaired electron and free radical hydrogen atom with one unpaired electron. Heterolytic cleavage. It is occurs in a polar bond involving an equal sharing of electron pair between two atoms of different electron negativity. A polar bond is break unsymmetrically. Both the bonding electrons are transferred to the more electron negative atom. Cation and anion are formed as a product in heterolytic cleavage. Example heterolytic cleavage. If atom A is more electron negative than atom B, a polar bond is break unsymmetrically. Both bonding electron is transferred to atom A to produce product. A is an ion, A negative charge, and B is cation, B positive charge. If atom B is more electron negative than atom A, a polar bond is break unsymmetrically. Both bonding electron 
is transferred to atom B. Now, A will become cation, A positive charge, and B will become an ion, which is B negative charge. A full head area here is to show bond break unsymmetrically. Example number one. A polar bond between carbon and chlorine, which is chlorine is more electron negative than carbon. So a polar bond is break unsymmetrically. Both bonding electron is transferred to chlorine atom to produce product. Chlorine atom will become an ion, Cl minus, and cation is CH3 positive charge. Number two, a polar bond is between hydrogen and bromine atom. Bond is break unsymmetrically. Both bonding electron is transferred to bromine atom because bromine atom is more electron negativity than hydrogen atom. So the product form, bromine atom will become an ion and hydrogen atom is cation. Exercise. State the type of bond cleavage for the label species Y. Y is chlorine molecule. It consists of non-polar bond, which is break symmetrically. And this reaction is under the condition UV. So the answer is homolytic cleavage. Reaction intermediates. There are three types of reaction intermediates that are unstable and highly reactive. Number one is carbocation. Number two is carbaion. Number three is free radical. Carbocation. The name also called carbonium ion. Carbocation is a very reactive species with a positive charge on a carbon atom. It is formed in heterolytic cleavage. Example The bond between carbon and chlorine is called polar bond. Chlorine is more electron negative than carbon atom. That's why chlorine atom is labeled as partial negative charge here. The polar bond is break heterolytically and both bonding electrons are transferred to chlorine atom to form an ion, which is chloride ion and carbocation, which is positive charge on the carbon atom here. Carbon is a reactive species with a negative charge on a carbon atom. Carbion is formed in heterolytic cleavage. Example A bond between chlorine and lithium atom is a polar bond. Carbon is more electronegative than lithium. Carbon labeled as partial negative charge here. The polar bond is break heterolytically and both the bonding electron are transferred to carbon atom to form cation, which is lithium ion, and carbon ion, which is negative charge on the carbon atom. Free radical is a very reactive species with unpaired electron. It is formed in homolytic cleavage. Example, a non-polar bond between these two carbon atoms. So, a non-polar bond is break symmetrically into two equal parts to form free radical as a product and each carbon atom with one unpaired electron. Example for the molecule CH4, a non-polar bond between carbon and hydrogen. A bond is break 
symmetrically into two equal parts, which are CH3 with one unpaired electron and hydrogen with one unpaired electron. The product is called free radical. And this reaction is occurs under the condition UV. Relative stabilities of carbocations, carbions and free radicals. Carbocations, carbions and free radicals can be classified as primary, secondary or tertiary. It is depending on the number of carbon atoms directly bonded to it. Carbocation stability. Alkyl groups and other electron donating groups, EDG, stabilize the positive charge on the carbocation. Stability of carbocation increase with the number of alkyl groups attached to it. Based on the arrangement here, R is labeled as alkyl group. The stability of carbocation is increasing from metal carbocation to tertiary carbocation. So, the less stable carbocation is metal carbocation because no alkyl group. Number two is primary carbocation, where only one alkyl group. Number three is secondary carbocation, has two alkyl group here. And the most stable carbocation is tertiary carbocation because it has three alkyl group attached here. Carbon stability. Alkyl group and other electron donating groups, EDG, destabilize carbions. But electron withdrawing group, EWG, stabilize carbions through the inductive withdrawal of electron density. Example of electron withdrawing group is halogen. Based on the arrangement here, stability of carbon is increasing from tertiary carbon to metal carbon. The less stable carbon is tertiary carbon because it has three alkyl group attached to here, which is destabilized carbon. And the most stable of carbion is metal carbion because it has no alkyl group attached to it. Free radical stability. The stability of free radical increase as more alkyl groups are attached to the carbon atom with unpaired electron. Based on the arrangement here, the stability of free radicals carbon is increasing from metal free radical until tertiary free radical. The metal free radicals is less stable because no alkyl groups. Number two is primary free radical with one alkyl group. Number three is secondary free radicals with two alkyl groups. And the most stable of Free radical is tertiary free radical because it has three alkyl groups attached to it. Exercise. Which would you expect to be the most stable free radical? As you know, the stability of free radical is increased with the number of alkyl groups. The first structure is primary free radical. The second structure is secondary free radical. And the third structure is metal free radical, which has no alkyl group. And the fourth structure is a secondary free radical bonded in the ring. So the answer is the fourth structure is the most stable of free radical because it is a secondary free radical and in the ring.